Hi, welcome everyone. My name is Oren Tabib and I will demonstrate today uh, what is new in SAP Business One 8.8 .8 and 8.81. Hope it will be beneficial for everyone. Uh, I will demonstrate most of the things inside the application using uh, the SAP Business One 8.8.1 .8 highlights for this version. So SAP delivered a document called What's New. You can get access to it in the Partners Portal or the Customer Portal and inside the in a package installation. If you have a problem to find it, please don't hesitate to contact me. My details will be at the end of this uh, video. So what are the highlights? These are the highlights that SAP indicated as the highlights. We'll try to go uh, and demonstrate most of them what is relevant uh, to most localization uh, around the globe. So let's go for the first one. The first one is the enhanced user experience. Let's go to the application. And if you guys didn't see the new version before, you can probably see that it's much different from what you used to see. So we have a new cockpit that enable you to get a direct access to common functions, uh, into the open documents to get messages and alerts directly uh, to your walk-in uh, screen. As well as uh, new dashboard capability that I will talk about it later on and a search option. Uh, if you want to see the old traditional modules uh, uh, main menu you can always click on the modules and you can always go to general settings and disable the cockpit and the dashboard uh, from here. If we we'll go back to the cockpit, so we see all the options that we have, all the widgets that we have. There is also an option to have a browser if uh, you record orders from a website or you want to have the B, uh, BI on demand on your cockpit. This is the option to do it from here. There is also uh, three predefined dashboards that SAP supply in this version, like the sales one that allows me to see uh, the sales uh, and the monthly sales with a comparison for uh, last year. It allows me to see my top five customers. It allows me to see the item ranking and, and zoom in using just click on the table. Uh, see the inventory data and take actions in case I want. Um, SAP also you have many new options on the right click uh, button so you have the available to promise there is a relationship map in case it's a BOM you can create purchase quotations from here that wasn't uh, available before 8.8 .8, but I will talk about that later on. Another thing uh, in this new version is the access log. That if you go uh, to it and just go on one of the users, and I'll choose myself over here, you can go into details and see exactly when uh, this uh, user was logged in, when he logged out, and get some more information uh, about uh, the user activities. So this is basically uh, the enhanced user experience, which is very different from uh, older version. Another another new feature that we have in this uh, new version is the integration component. And the integration components allow uh, Business One first uh, to deliver the dashboards, as you see here. Uh, using the integration components and using, using the Crystal Report Designer, partners are able now to develop new dashboards according to your needs and show them uh, on the user interface. SAP deliver, at the moment currently, they deliver three dashboards, the sales, the service, and the finance, which shows the uh, customer receivable agent. For now I will go to uh, sales. Another thing uh, regarding the integration components that is 
it's allow first it's, it's allow support for mobile devices so uh, like the new iPhone application of uh, business one uh, developed uh, uh, using the b1 uh, integration components and also it allows uh, the partners to develop solution for uh, integration with the uh, third parties Another thing uh, in this version is support for uh, local requirements, but it's various from uh, in every localization, so we can skip that. Regarding uh, reporting capabilities, so in this version, uh, Crystal Reports is much more built-in, integrated in the software. There are so many new reports that you can use, and almost in every document you will find the layout of crystal reports uh, it can be also adjusted by a partner or the customer for example let's take the sales order let's go to the last sales order if I'll hit the layout designer you can see also the old traditional uh, designs but also new designs with CR crystal reports this is now the default, so I can just print this document uh, and we'll see that um, this layout is much nicer, it's much smoother and it brings much more options to the customer or the partners to, to design the form and almost all the options are uh, open in Crystal Reports. Regarding the SEPA, um, you can now use standard XML files for SEPA Euro credit transfer and direct debits, uh, but I will skip it. I'm, I have nothing to demonstrate here. Another new feature in this version is the purchase quotation. Uh, I know customers have been waiting for that for a long time. So now you can create also a document called purchase quotation. You can compare between uh, different quotation as new as the confirmation wizard to take action and to decide for the best quotation and uh, make a PO from that quotation. A new window was uh, added to the new release of Business One which is uh, the purchase quotation. It enables you to record uh, quotations for a product uh, afterwards uh, generate a reports uh, that will help you understand what is the best fit and the best options to choose based on that create a PO and continue with the purchase process so uh, this is a big change from uh, uh, from uh, previous versions and uh, I think I will release a separate video about how to use the uh, purchase quotation the confirmation wizard and the, and the purchase uh, quotation report uh, to take a decision what is the best uh, what is the best fit for us another really nice thing in this version is the reoccurring activities and transaction it enable you to post transactions AR invoice, AP invoice, sales order, delivery almost every document in the system and also activities uh, to reoccur them once a month, once a week, or you name the time frame. So let's see that in the application. So there are two new screens. One of them is the reoccurring transaction template. Here I can define what exactly I want to happen. So let's choose for an example. So I want AR invoice, and it will show you me the draft documents, or I can create a new one. Let's choose that one. I want to can zoom in to check if that's what I wanted. Um, check the reoccurrence period daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or one time, annually. I can decide when exactly in the month and when do I want it to start. So let's say first of it over, and I can also add a value until. And I update that. And okay, so once a month I'll get an invoice, and if I go to reoccurring transaction, 
this table will show me the transaction that is scheduled for today and I can decide what to do to, in case of uh, in case of missing data to continue to skip or uh, and to take an action about it. The tax code determination is a new window that enables you to set rules to the tax code. So if up until now the customers need the partner's help in order to develop rules for the tax code, at the moment you can define that by yourself. So let's see how does it work. If you go to administration, setup, and financials, in tax, there is a new window called tax code determination, and I have here a rule. Uh, you can choose if it's a, an item or a service document or both. You can choose if just for sales document, just for purchase or, for, or both. And then you have around 17 fields that you can set rules by, and you can also set by a user defined field. And at the moment, I just said if it's if the ship to state of the customer is California, please have the line tax code as CA as California. And I can go and define these rules to any one of the states that I'm working with. Uh, if you have uh, multiple, many states, you can also import using DTW. So this was the task code determination. Uh, I will not talk about production, cost, and enhancement because it's relevant just for a uh, few uh, localization, the Czech Republic, the Hungary, and the Slovakian, so I will skip that. Uh, some other things that I not highlighted in, in these documents, but I think uh, I'd like to show them. Another really nice uh, feature we have in this new version is the option to see the journal entry, the transaction, before we even post the document. So, for example, if I go to an error invoice, I choose a random customer, and let's choose some random items, and choose. And so I have the option before even add this invoice to see what will happen in the general ledger. So we have a new icon called journal entry preview. I can hit on that. I will get the same messages as if I were adding this invoice. So I will hit yes to all or that. And we can actually see what will happen, a preview of the journal entry before we even post that invoice so we see that it's debited uh, uh, customer and the uh, cost of goods uh, sold and it's debited the uh, tax code accounts and the inventory so if it's good for me I can now go ahead and add this invoice operation completed successfully it means that I go back to the same invoice and I see that the same journal entry as uh, as in the preview. Maybe uh, one last thing about the highlights um, is the upgrade process. The upgrade process is dramatically changed in this version. It is much easier to do the upgrade and it's straightforward. Um, I probably released a new video about the upgrade process later on, so stay tuned. So I think we covered uh, most of the points and all the highlights uh, under this uh, version of SAP Business One. Uh, again, there is a document that contains all the details and all the new features and functions. Uh, it is on the customers and the partners SAP portal. If you find difficulties to find this uh, document, please uh, feel free to contact me at orientabib.gmail.com. And uh, thank you very much.